Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my world. I'm Tabitha, and I am a real estate investor, future van life traveler, and lover of everything green. And Sammy. So if you're new here, you have not seen my last video where I dove into why I wanted to become a real estate investor and why I started my GoFundMe, <clears throat> as well as where I discussed my uh, starting up of my business, my real estate investing business. So if you have not looked at that, if you want to look at it, take some time, go check it out right now. I'm, I think I'm going to try to link it. It's going to be my try. I'm going to give it a try. So it is now the middle of May and so much has happened. I'm super excited to finally get you guys updated and let you guys know what's really been going on with my business, my life. And yeah, if you're interested, sit back, relax, pop open a bag of hot corn, whatever you gotta do, cause this one's gonna be a little <laughs> um, if my story helps you guys in any way please share it down below um, I would definitely like to hear feedback maybe you guys have been there done that and may have some advice for me um, also my goal here is to network with as many people build a community here on YouTube of people who are like-minded, who have the same goals for their community, and um, who have the same I some of the similar ideas that I have. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so in March, my company got our very first deal under contract. We got the property under contract for 14,979 or 700, something. It was some weird number close to 15,000. And in order to get the deal assigned, I quit my job and I dedicated my time and energy to my real estate, invest, real estate investing business full time. Now, a week after getting that property under contract, I did um, an inspection with my contractors and we found out that I got it under contract for much too much and we realized right then that it was going to be pretty difficult to try to sell this property. But I still tried to find a buyer um, and of course everybody that I've marketed to they were telling me that it was just not a good deal. Um, and I learned that pretty quickly, I learned that the neighborhood that I'm in is just considered undesirable to many investors here in the area. So those were a lot of the challenges that I faced with that first property. Um, my last resort was to reach back out to the seller and try to renegotiate the price. But she was not having it, period. She didn't want to go there. So we agreed to mutually release the contract that we had and we canceled all business on that property. Now, I was feeling like poo at this point, you know, pity party because it sucks to suck, you know. But um, I learned so much about this process just from that first deal alone. Um, I learned so much about my farm area, my neighborhood, and that brings me to deal number two, the month of April. So this Saturday, I got a new house under contract. Um, this is a this was a whole new lead. Honestly, he was somebody that I called. I called him early February. 
uh, well, initially, I kind of take them off because I offer, I know I offered them too much money for the house. I offered them 9,000. And when I realized that I offered too much money, cause it was like right in the same time that I got that other house under contract. And I was like, not trying to be in the hole on two of them. Um, and so I tried to renegotiate with them and, um, and he hung up on me. So fast forward to, to last week, I was following up with some of my old leads and I decided to go ahead and call him. And um, he, we settled at 5,000 for the house, which honestly is not bad. And um, actually got some help with a realtor. He helped me comp the property and it'll sell, it could sell after being fixed up for about 31. Um, it's still in the bad, like, bad neighborhood, but, you know, it feels good to work with people who actually believe in the area. So, using what I learned from deal one, I successfully negotiated deal number two. It was a great price. It still is a great price. And... If I say I say it's price to sell now the deal although price to sell the challenges with this one are that the property still needs lots of repairs and it is still in the undesirable neighborhood I am having a pretty hard time selling this house um, the buyer's list that I made is completely useless and now I'm just trying to like okay go through my buyer's list again because when I initially did when I initially sent out my mailers I didn't send to LLCs and like now I'm realizing I should have sent to LLCs most of these I've gone through are no good so and then even still getting the name of the person is like is your skip tracing effective enough to get to this person So a lot of my feedback on this property from buyers has been, you know, either it's too much work or it's a good deal. It's just not a deal for me. So I truly believe that the buyer for this property exists. I just have to reach them. I got to find them. And I have been busting my booty to try to do so. <clears throat> now... Doing this deal has humbled me because I thought I was gonna be superwoman from my neighborhood and come out and, cause we have so many, you know, when you look into wholesaling online or even just getting these YouTube guru mentors or, you know, they tell you look for these rundown properties. And wow, lo and behold, my neighbor's full of them, so. Here I am like, yeah, I got all these great deals. I'm about to go for it, but nobody wants to invest in my neighborhood. So this process really has humbled me for my neighborhood. I can't be superwoman just yet. And I'm going to have to pick up my, you know, basically refocus my energy to finding another deal in an area where buyers are more interested um, and just really make money first before I try to save the world. Um, the contract on that one is still available. So if anybody's interested in like the more C area neighborhoods, the more transitional areas and or war zone areas, give me a con, give me a shout. I've got one there and it's cheap. Now, it is currently May, and earlier this month, I got deal number three under contract. I'm doing one contract a month. That's good. Now, if only I can get these dang things sold. 
So got deal number three under contract and with the help from my mentors, we did it um, as a subject to their mortgage. Let's see. Yes, let's do tomorrow. Um, and would be would noon be a good time? Okay. Okay. Let's do tomorrow at noon. So you can move on and, and breathe. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, sounds good. I'll see you there. Yes, ma'am. Bye-bye. She sounds motivated. And she said she sold for what she owes. And they owe 45. I need to get this house. The property was completely trashed. However, there's nowhere near as many repairs as the last two. And it's in a better area. Still the same zip code, but better area. So that's, that's a plus. Uh, what else about it? Mm, yeah, I mean, it's not a bad deal. She owes a lot of money on this one. So that's why we did do subject to the existing mortgage. It's not more than what it's worth. However, the repairs that it needs may kind of kick it up over that worth line. So we got to find the right buyer for this one too. But I think that with the location and the, the few repairs that it does need this one, our goal is to sell it quickly. Um, find the buyer, get the deal closed as quickly as possible. Oh, my mentor update. So last you guys heard, my mentor, uh, my what I was trying to do was do the GoFundMe for my mentor. Now, in order to assist me in paying for my mentor, I did start the GoFundMe. Um, I was terrified of taking the largest chunk of the last of my money in order to get started so my first you know my first um thought was you know ask for help get some help on this family and friends have them you know see if they'll donate to what you're trying to do um but i realized very early in that journey that i did not need to be waiting on people to make things happen for me or like give me you know I, I couldn't wait for the handout so um or else I'd be waiting for a long time and waiting around to jump this off and so I decided that if I really wanted this I was gonna have to go for it myself um and I really decided that I couldn't wait and I needed to put myself in a position where I had no ability to turn back. So that's what I did. I jumped. I paid for my mentorship out of pocket. Like I said, it was the largest chunk of the last of my money, but I did it and I could not be more happy with my decision. Um, I'm so much further along in this process thanks to investing into myself and now I think that I'm in a wonderful place to begin seeing a return on the investment. I'm still learning so much but I'm so much farther than I feel like I would have been had I continued to listen to people that were not in my area trying to tell me how to do business in my area you know what i'm saying so that's the mentor update um now don't get me wrong <sighs> being broke and hungry is not fun but um it's a it's a hard place to be in however i i believe that that's just a part of it and greater is coming.
But with that being said, thank you guys. Thank you everybody that did donate to my GoFundMe. I send you nothing but love and gratitude and appreciation and uh, the universe, I'm pushing it back to you. The, the universe, I'm giving it back, okay? Thank you so much. And um, my goals for my business as of today, I have so many, but my short term goals right now are to see a return gotta see a return on this investment and while also taking my time to really appreciate the process and be intentional about the systems that I want to build for this company um, we are networking with people in our area in order to gain better access to resources um, and to be able to do, well, I guess gain access to those resources so that we can do projects that we want to do and not do projects that we have to do in order to make money. So, um, still dedicating my time and energy to learn this business inside out, truly, um, and I'm learning that also mentors are everywhere. So, you know, I'm grateful to be in a position now that I can find those mentors a lot easier. They're a little bit more accessible than they were to me than they, than I felt like they were two months ago. So that's my update. I hope I didn't ramble on too long here. You guys have a great rest of your day or night. Thank you for watching my video and peace out. Right there.